Hi, welcome to Debbie's Dare. Um, this is Fiskars Friday on Thursday. Tell you what I've been doing the last couple of days is I've had these on my desk way too much. These are the Cherry Cordial uh, Hershey Kisses. And I haven't had enough of this, my coffee. Um, we've been working at a Fisketeer crop, having a great time and doing challenges and having all sorts of fun. I've also been on the Making Memory site trying to win something. Haven't so far, still trying. Uh, I've been on several different sites uh, checking out their new designs and new stuff that they're doing. But today we're going to work with one of the requests that you had asked about. And that's the Fiskars Border Punch, Circle Border Punch. We've got a 4 inch circle side, or if you want to make a 6 inch circle side. Okay? And this one happens to be the one with the heart. It's going to scallop it around and leave me some heart punches in there. Let me show you up close. Ta-da! That is very pretty, very appropriate for Valentine's Day. Now it comes with this template. You'll have four inches in the inside, six inches on the outside. Just take your pencil and draw a circle. Cut it out with your Fiskar scissors. Again, use the outside part. But I have a quicker way to at least do the 4 inch one, is that I use the Fiskars 4 inch template. Now my circle cutter for some reason doesn't do exactly the same thing, but this will give me the proper measurements in order to use it in my Fiskars border punch. Okay, let me bring you down here and I'll show you. Now I'm not going to be, uh, quote, demonstrating the USX, so, um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out, and you can go back. I did. I have demoed this, and I'm going to do it again because you had some questions about it. But I have my USX. My Fiskars is facing up. I'm holding it down using the blue. See, I am demoing it. I don't mean to. Making sure that you stay always on the orange and don't tilt in. See, dot, 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 dot. All right, let me make sure my blade's in the right direction so I don't mess up and have to start again. So... Ah, I slipped. So my blade, this is what happens when your blade is not in the right direction. So it's good. I'm just going to leave it so you guys can see. Okay? All right. Instead of doing a thousand takes, let's just fix that. So then you should be more careful about what you do. All right. I could feel that it finished cutting. So I'm going to take my Fiskars template, set it aside. Uh -huh. My circle's there. This is a thicker paper, so sometimes with your thicker papers you have to uh, punch it out. It's good. See? My non-traditional brown color. As long as I don't turn it over, I'm good for Megan's challenge. Alright. Let's place this again the way that I use it and the way that it's made. You can see there are grids here. And that's for, the again, the palm of my hand. I saw Wendy Jo, I mean uh, Kelly Jo use it this way. Same thing, you're using the palm. As long as you're using the palm of your hand, it's much better. Okay, just don't use your fingertips. So I've got it pulled toward me so I can see everything that I'm doing. I place this circle in here, and I sort of make sure that it's going up against, I want to make sure that it's all the way up against this ridge. Okay. Since it's the 4 inch one, I'm going to make sure that it's flush against the 4 inch ridge and not the space over here with the 6 inch ridge. It's, it's just the miracle of magic here. Okay, So make sure that it's in all the way okay, and that it is flushed on this, on this side. And let's start punching and see if I can do this one take. Okay, now here's the secret. You have to turn toward the 4 inch. Okay, and another, another, another. Let me show you. Again, you have that same pattern that you have with the border punch. Let me see if I can get you a good angle. If you don't line it up, it's not going to be colored in. But if you use the pattern, painted pattern, on the Fiskars punch, it's going to fill in where you just cut with the blue. It is really important to be very precise with this in order for it to finish correctly. And also, this, once you do your first punch, this is not your guide. This little edge piece here, that's not your guide anymore. The guide is making sure that it is filled in every time you turn it. Don't worry about what happens with this. Follow the guide. So let's see if it works for me. 
Okay, I'm going to be just as precise as I think I can get. Okay, here we go. Punch two. Let's color it in again. See, I'm not really caring about this little piece right here. It can go up, down, any which way that it wants. I just want to make sure that I'm coloring or filling in the cut parts with the uh, guide that Fiskars gives us on our wonderful circle punch. Now, know this, that the more detailed the punch, the harder it is. So you have to take more time. There's one especially that... Um, I have more difficulties with, but it's well worth it once you get uh, the hang of it. And I'm watching here. I'm hoping this is my last punch, but we'll see. All right, let's see if I did it right. <gasps> look at there. All the way to the end. Pull that little piece off, and look what I have. A wonderful doily. Let's turn over to the pink side. I want to cover up the back so you can see it. I want you to see this. See that? Isn't that awesome? But remember the magic pieces. Go back and watch again and remember the magic. It matches up all the way around. Okay? And you can do the same thing with the 6 inch. Just go in the opposite direction and you have a beautiful, beautiful circle border that you can use for just about anything. And this is going to be part of a card that I'm making uh, for Megan's challenge. And then I'm going to make some cards for Betsy, Fisketeer Betsy Burnett is making cards uh, for certain charities up in uh, Joliet, uh, Illinois. So I'm going to make some using this too. So that it's, you can do a lot of things with it other than Valentine's, but that's what I do with it. Let me give, make you guys see sick and bring you up fast. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut it short because I know how my time goes. But I hope this helped a lot. If not, ask me questions. But just remember, fill in the blanks. Fill in your cut pieces perfectly with this. Do not use the edge of your paper after the first cut as your guide. Your guide is going to be fill in the cut pieces with the pattern on this. And also getting your perfect circle, which I do with the Fiskars template and the USX. Or I use my the 6-inch piece here on my template. Okay? You guys have a great day. Yay, yay. Did I do It's a Small World? It's a small world after all. Did I do that? It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. See, I can do it too. And I haven't run anyone off, but it's not great. All right. Bye, guys.